In this video, I'm going to review Zotero's integration into this configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents. So you may be familiar with Zotero already, but in case you aren't, this is Zotero. It's a very easy to install, easy to use, free software for managing your references, keeping all of your bibliographic data and associated PDFs or notes organized for you. You can create little collections for different projects you're working on. And you can also scrape bibliographic data from the internet if you're on a journal's website or even on Amazon looking at different books. So in order to get a sense of this, let's go to this journal website. And you can see this little paper icon here and so if I click this, you can see it adds in the background this uh, new paper here. So here it tells me that it's scraped the bib data and has found a PDF. And if I want, I can organize it into a collection, but I don't have any collections just yet. Um, but let's go into Zotero. So here's the paper. So I can open up the PDF if I like inside Zotero or I can also open it up on my machine with a PDF viewer. And I can also edit any of this bibliographic data if there's any mistakes or things I'd like to change. It's easy to attach uh, new files. So if the PDF does not attach for whatever reason, perhaps you weren't signed in to the journal's website, then you can attach a PDF this way. Okay, so this is a basic overview of Zotero, but what we're going to do is extend its functionality by adding a key extension so as to integrate Zotero into this config for NeoVim. So let's go to my config repository and in Mac OS installation, we can scroll down to Zotero and there's this better BibTeX extension which I've linked the instructions you can find here. And these instructions are very clear, but just to review, we're gonna download an XPI file, which they have linked here. And so here's the XPI file, which you'll download. And once you do, you can go into Zotero Tools, Add-ons, click this drop-down menu, and do Install Add-on from File and then you're gonna find that XPI file and open it up. So I already have this installed and you can see the result, which is here, Better Bib Tech for Zotero. So once we have that extension, we'll be able to go into Preferences and you'll see this Better Bib Tech tab. And so the first thing to do is to change the citation key formula to something that you like what I like is to have the author's last name followed by the year, which you can see demonstrated over here. And this is not the only option. They provide lots of alternatives here. You can create your own key um, and they provide all these different functions, um, which you can use to create the key following the instructions here. But I would keep it as something relatively simple. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And we can now go into automatic export and select on change. And that's important so that when we add new papers to our library, that Zotero will keep the exported bib file up to date so that we can immediately cite that paper inside NeoVim. All right, let's close out of here and go back to the config. And the next piece that we're gonna need is to make sure that we have both a bib directory in the right place on our machine, as well as a, some style files in the BST folder. And so you may have this set up already, but in case you don't, let's go into the terminal and let's navigate to library and we're going to list out what we have. So you can see I do not have 
a TechMF folder here. So if I try to go into TechMF, it says that directory does not exist. So you may have a TechMF folder and you may have all these style files and a bib directory. Um, so some of this you may be able to skip, but since I do not have these on this machine, I'm gonna copy this in. And now we can CD into TechMF and BibTech and list out what we have. So we just have this one bib directory, which for the time being is empty inside um, TechMF slash BibTech. And so the next piece, what we're going to do is we're going to add this BSD folder, which has a bunch of um, style files in it so that we can generate a PDF to test the configuration. Okay, so now let's list out what we have. So now we have also this BST directory. So let's first clear and CD into BST. And if I list out what I have in there, I have these two style files that I've included in the configuration. So by no means do you have to use these style files you can use some others, perhaps you already have some, in which case you can probably skip this entire step. All right, so given that we have these, um, we can now return to Zotero and I'm gonna export this library. So I'm gonna do export library. You're gonna select better bib tech from the drop down menu and keep updated so that it stays up to date as you add things to your library. Okay, and it's gonna ask me where I want to save this. And I'm gonna go into my user home folder and I'm gonna go into library. So you may not be able to see library on your machine. And this is due to a child lock that Mac has set by default. And so to turn that off, we're gonna go into finder and the go go to folders and I'm going to go to users and select my user home folder and you can see I library does show up but in case it doesn't for you you go to show view options and then down here you want to make sure this is checked show library folder Okay, so it is checked for me, so I can navigate to library. You may need to um, close and reopen this um, it, once, once you've made the change. Um, but let's go down to TechMF, BibTech, and we're going to go into this Bib folder. And we're going to call it Zotero. You could name it something else, but then all the template files that I've included, they already include this name, so you'd have to change um, that name throughout those template folders, those template files that I've included. So I'm just going to stick with Zotero so that everything works out of the box. Okay, and it saved that for me, and it's going to keep it updated. And we can see that by going to Preferences, Better Bib Tech, and Automatic Export. We now have this Zotero file, which it's going to keep updated. All right, great. So now um, the last piece is to tell Telescope where that file is. And so we can do this by going into, we can run this command here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to search for this path name. So if we just search for techmf with the slash and then techmf, um, there it is. And so you can see I've already changed this as described here. I've added this library to uh, the, the path, whereas on Linux, I don't need this uh, library. So important for you to change that if you're on Mac OS. And then that way, Telescope, which is allowing you to search through your bibliography, will know where to look. 
Okay, great. So that's the last piece. We're gonna save and quit, space Q. And we're now ready to run a test. So let's go back into NeoVim. And I'm gonna to go to this test file. And let's build it with space B. And you can see that it has opened up skim for me. So that's good. And everything is looking good. If I do um, command shift click, it will move my cursor um, to get a better sense of that. This is a new line. Okay, let's put my cursor up here. And if I go back over here, um, well, actually, let's build it first. So let's uh, save this, space W. And so there's the new line. Um, if my cursor is way up here and I do control click, then it will hop my cursor over here. And vice versa, if I want to go to this de definition, do space V for view, and it will select that within the document. And of course, this is useful when you have a long document and you can hop around inside of it. Okay, good. So sync is working and let's now check to see if citations are working. Okay. And there it is. So you can see just by typing in B, I have better and great. So let's build this and let's make this a little bit bigger. And there we go. So it's found the file and it's created the reference for us down in references. So everything looks good. Um, one other thing we can now also test to make sure telescope is finding the bib file is doing space F for find and C for citations. And this will bring up our entire Zotero database, which just consists of one paper right now um, and so if we select that it will put in that citation so great so everything works um, and we're ready to go if I go to add a new paper now um, as soon as I do that it will automatically be available to cite inside Zotero so that's that's really nice um, I don't know if I can find one quickly here, but here, here's a paper. There's no PDF probably, but if I click this, then it scrapes at least the bib data for me. And that's good. Peterson, last name. Um, let's check to make sure this works. Site Peterson. There we go. And if I build this with space W, so it's just a save and I need to go back into, here we go. And there it is, it's added Peterson. So as easy as that. Um, so it's really nice. You can just, you never really even need to open Zotero. You can just be building your database passively while browsing online, finding papers and then citing them immediately. And if you want to open this PDF, you can do so using the Vimtech um, menu, context menu. So you can go into A and V, and then you can do um, show entry um, with two. You can check the bibliographic data and so on. Okay, so that's a little overview. Hope that helps.